If you've ever made character videos with AI and had faces change randomly halfway through your scene, you need to try this Nano Banana and Cling AI hack. It's simple and keeps your videos consistent and professional looking. Here's how it works. We first need two key images, the start and the end frame. You can open Nano Banana inside Google Gemini. Just make sure you switch to the flash model and that you're in image mode before you start editing. Then drag in your first image. Let's create something fun together. I'll start with a picture of a cozy cabin in the woods. In the Nano Banana prompt box, I'll type, make this a nighttime scene with glowing windows, soft moonlight, and light snow falling. Once it generates, I'll save that as my start frame. Then I'll duplicate the image and create my end frame. In Nano Banana, I'll prompt, same cabin, but make it look like morning with golden sunlight, no snow and smoke rising from the chimney. Now I have two matching images with the same cabin, one at night and one in the morning. These are perfect start and end frames for a camera transition. Next, head over to Kling AI. Choose the Kling 2.1 model and turn on the start and end frames feature. Upload the nighttime cabin as the first frame, then upload the morning cabin as the last frame. In the prompt box, I'll write, the camera slowly pulls back from the cabin, the snow melts, and dawn light fills the scene as smoke rises from the chimney. Keep the style soft and cinematic. This tells Kling exactly what I want to happen between the two frames. I'll also add a negative prompt. Blurry, distorted, low quality, warped, stretched. This makes sure the animation stays sharp and clean. Set the video length to 10 seconds for a nice slow pullback and generate. The result is a smooth day-to-night transition with zero flicker in style. This is just one example. You can do the same process with characters. Let's try another step-by-step. -step. This time, I'll generate a character portrait. In Nano Banana, I'll start with this prompt. Create a portrait of a young woman with short red hair, wearing a futuristic leather jacket, standing in a neon city street at night. Once I have the image, I'll make the end frame. My next prompt will be, same woman, same outfit, but she is now holding a glowing holographic map and looking surprised. Because both images are generated with Nano Banana, the face and outfit stay perfectly consistent. Now back to Kling AI. Upload the first portrait as the start frame and the second as the end frame. In the prompt, I'll write, the camera pushes in slowly as the woman notices the glowing map appear in her hands with the neon lights flickering in the background. Keep her face identical to the first frame. Generate the video and now I have a short animated moment that feels like a scene from a cyberpunk film. Here's another fun idea. Do a transformation shot. Start with a regular street scene in Nano Banana using this prompt. A quiet, empty street in a small town during the afternoon, realistic style. Then, for the end frame, prompt. Same exact street, but overgrown with vines and trees, abandoned for decades, moody lighting. Upload both to Kling AI. In the prompt, let's write, the street slowly transforms as nature takes over, cracks form in the pavement, vines crawl up the buildings, and the sky turns cloudy. Keep perspective consistent. This is perfect for anyone making post-apocalyptic or time-lapse style shots. The reason these examples work so well is that you are telling both Nano Banana and Kling AI exactly what to do, while giving the AI clear visual anchors to work from. Let's talk about how to write good prompts for Nano Banana. Be direct and specific. If you just say, make it cooler, the AI won't know what you mean. Instead, say, turn this into a foggy night scene with mist on the ground and warm orange street lights. The more descriptive your language, the better the result. Nano Banana is also great for changing camera angles while keeping your characters consistent. For example, 
If I have a front-facing portrait of a detective, I can prompt, same character but from a side profile, looking thoughtful, cigarette smoke rising, or same character but from a low camera angle, looking up, dramatic lighting, city skyline in the background. These are perfect for building start and end frames for Kling to work with. When you get into Kling AI, your prompt should describe the motion you want. If you want a camera move, say exactly how the camera moves. For example, the camera rotates 180 degrees around the character, revealing the city skyline behind him, will give you a very different result than just saying, show the character from behind. You can even mix camera moves with transformations. Start with a shot of an ordinary car in Nano Banana, then make the end frame where the car has turned into a sleek, futuristic hover vehicle. In Kling AI, prompt. The camera circles around the car as it transforms into a hover car. Lights glow, ground reflects blue light. This gives you a seamless motion that feels like a real cinematic transformation. Another powerful trick is using Kling's reverse button. Say you make a shot zooming from outside a spaceship into the cockpit. Hit reverse, and you now have a shot that starts in the cockpit and pulls all the way out to reveal the ship in space. This doubles the creative possibilities without making new images. If you want to push this further, try combining multiple start and end frames for a sequence. First, generate a set of consistent images in Nano Banana, front view, side view, back view, and a close-up of your character. Then string them together in Kling AI, one after the other. This lets you create a complex scene where the camera moves around a single character while keeping their look identical in every shot. And remember, Nano Banana is fast. You can tweak a prompt and regenerate until the character looks exactly how you want. Once you have your base character design locked in, making new angles or outfits takes just seconds. Once you get comfortable with this process, the possibilities are endless. You can make product videos, animated shorts, or even full story scenes by building them frame by frame like this. If you've been struggling to get consistent results with AI video, this workflow is going to save you hours of frustration and give you results that look like professional animation. What type of videos will you make with Nano Banana and Kling? Let me know in the comments below. While you're there, check the description for some helpful resources that I've linked, and don't forget to like and subscribe.